In this video, we're going to find the directional derivative of this function at this point in the direction of this vector. So before we go through the problem, let me refresh your memory on the formula we're going to use. So the directional derivative of a function, which we'll call f of x, y, in the direction of a unit vector u is given by the gradient vector of f dotted with our unit vector u. So this is the formula we're going to use in order to do this problem. So we need to figure out a couple things first. So we've already got f, so we can figure out the gradient, and we've got our point, so we can plug that in to the gradient after we figure it out. Uh, then we need to figure out our unit vector. So let's find our unit vector first. So our vector is pq. So our vector pq, uh, I'm going to call it just pq, like this. And you just subtract. It's terminal minus initial, so it's this minus this. So it'd be pi over 2 minus 0, 0 minus pi. Okay, that's going to be our pq. So again, it's this minus this, and then this minus this. So subtract the x components, subtract the y components. And it's always terminal minus initial. This will be pi over 2, negative pi. Okay, now we have to turn this into a unit vector. So we have to make this a vector that has magnitude one. So we have to divide by the magnitude of PQ. So the magnitude of PQ, so we're basically going to normalize this vector. Recall that whenever you have a vector and you're trying to turn it into a unit vector, you have to divide by its magnitude. So this is going to be the square root of, let's see, pi over two squared plus negative pi squared. So what could this be? This is going to be pi squared over 4 plus pi squared. So this is going to be, think of this as 4 over 4. So this will be pi squared over 4 plus 4 pi squared over 4. This will be 5 pi squared over 4. So the, the, the magnitude of PQ is going to be, in this case, um, let's see, so the pi squared will become a pi, that'll become a 2, so we'll get the square root of 5 pi over 2. So our unit vector, we're basically going to take this vector and divide it by this. So when you take this vector and you divide it by this, you multiply by the reciprocal. So it's 2 over root 5 pi, pi over 2, negative pi. Distributing and cleaning up the stuff, we have u equals, pretty messy problem, the pi's cancel, the 2's cancel, oh, that feels really good. We get 1 over the square root of 5, much nicer. And then here we get negative 2 over the square root of 5. Going kind of fast, but apparently it's a very long problem. So, the first thing you do is you want to find your unit vector. So you find your vector, and that's probably not a unit vector. So in order to make it a unit vector, you have to divide by its magnitude. Obviously, it's not a unit vector because its magnitude is not 1. A unit vector is a vector that has magnitude 1. So whenever you have a vector and you want to turn it into a unit vector, you have to divide by the magnitude. So we figured out the magnitude. We divided by it. We basically multiplied by the reciprocal, and we got here. So now we should be good. All we have to do now is compute the gradient. So the gradient should be pretty easy. I'll write it over here, the gradient of f. So the first component is the partial with respect to x, okay? Remember it's fx, I'll write it out, and then fy. So that's the formula for the gradient vector. So in this case, uh, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So we get negative sine of x plus y times the derivative of the inside with respect to x. So the derivative of x is 1, the derivative of y is going to be 0 because we're differentiating with respect to x. So there's just a 1 here. Same thing here, it'll be negative sine x plus y times the derivative of x is uh, 0 this time, the derivative of y is 1, so same thing. So same thing both times. Now we can plug in our point 0 pi, let's do that. So the gradient vector at 0 pi. So you see how I'm doing it in pieces. I first We first found u, so I'm going to circle it because that's important. Now we're going to find this. Once we find this, we have both things and we just take the dot product and we're good to go. So let's see what we get here. This is negative. So x is 0, y is pi. So sine pi. This will be sine pi. Oh, but the sine of pi is 0. So we just end up with uh, 0, 0. 
should have seen that coming. <laughs> uh, and then so basically, when we take the dot product, let's work through it. So the, derivative, the directional derivative of u, this worked out really nicely at zero pi, right, using this formula now, is going to be this dotted with this. And so basically, you just do zero times this, so you get zero plus zero times this, so you get zero. Zero plus zero is zero, right? Because you do this times this, plus this times this. That's how you do dot products. So the directional derivative at P in the direction of PQ is actually zero. I feel like uh, a little bit of a sucker, right? Because we could we could have done this first. If we would have done this first, we could have avoided all of this by realizing, oh my God, it's, it's zero, zero. So whenever you dot anything with it, you're gonna get zero. So there's no need to do all of this, but yeah, live and learn. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.